Hi friends and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. B. I'm Mrs. B and today we're going to read The Cat Who Wore a Pot on Her Head. There once was a cat named Bendo Molina. She lived in a house on Cat Street where cats and kittens lived all together. Brothers and sisters, cousins and friends were in and out and all about. What a noisy place it was. One day when Benda Molina was playing, she found a shiny pot. She put it on her head. Suddenly, all the noise was gone. She liked the quiet so much, she decided to wear the pot over her ears all the time. The same day, Mother Cat said to Benda Molina and her nine little brothers and sisters, I have to take care of a sick friend this afternoon. But, oh dear, how am I going to clean the house and cook your supper, too? Don't worry, said her kittens. When you come home, supper will be ready and the house all clean. We'll take care of everything. Mrs. Cat took Benda Molina with her to the sick friend's house. I brought her to run errands, Mrs. Cat told her sick friend. And soon Mrs. Cat wanted something. Benda Molina, Benda Molina, run home and tell your brothers and sisters that it's time to put the fish on to bake. Benda Molina didn't hear what her mother had said. Her ears were still under the pot. Everything she heard was all mixed up. Did she say to put the smish on to fake or to put the fish in the lake? Benda Molina wondered as she ran home. Oh, she must have said to put soap in the cake. Mama wants you to put soap in the cake, she told her brothers and sisters. All the kittens wanted to please mother, so they put soap in the cake. Almost as soon as Benda Molina got back to her mother, Mrs. Cat said, Benda Molina, Benda Molina, I forgot to tell the children to put the soup on to heat. Run home and tell them to put the soup on to heat. Again, Benda Molina didn't hear very well because of the pot. Put the poop on the beep? Mup the moop on the feep? Oh, my, oh, she must have said to iron the meat. Mama says to iron the meat, she told the kittens at home. They all wanted to please mother, so they got out the iron and ironing board and ironed the meat. All afternoon, Benda Molina ran back and forth, telling her brothers and sisters what mother wanted them to do. Once, Mrs. Cat said, Benda Molina, Benda Molina, run home and tell the children to sweep out the hall. Beep out the ball? Meep out the maw? Bleep bitty ball? Oh, Mother must have said, oh, I know, to hang the chairs on the wall. Mama wants you to hang the chairs on the wall, Benda Molina told the other kittens. The children all wanted to please mother, so they got out the hammer and nails and hung the chairs up like pictures. Soon all the neighbors gathered around the house to watch. There were so many watching that Benda Molina had to crawl between their legs to get back to her mother. Once again, Benda Molina's mother had a message for the children. Tell them to be sure to leave the key in the lock. Remember, 
leave the key in the lock. Benda Molina raced home saying to herself, Gleave the bee in the smock, smick the smee on the sock, sicky wee wobbly glock. Oh, oh, she must have said to sew clothes on the clock. Sew clothes on the clock, Benda Molina told her brothers and sisters, sisters, and to please their mother, that is what they did. Benda Molina began again, ran back to her mother. Benda Molina! Benda Molina, supper must be nearly ready. Go tell the children to make something to drink, mother said. Make Wiffly sink? Wump buffalo bink? Oh, she must have said to put the horse in the sink. When Benda Molina told her brothers and sisters what Mother had said, they asked Mrs. Mr. Horse, who lived down the street, if he would stand in the sink just to please their mother. By this time, animals had come from all over to see for themselves what was happening at Mrs. Cat's house. There were big animals and small animals and in-between size animals. Mrs. Cat was almost ready to leave her sick friend when she said, Benda Molina, Benda Molina, run home and ask one of your brothers to fix my chair. Up in the air, sticky pear, purple hair. By the time Benda Molina got home, she decided her mother had asked, ask in a bear. And to please mother, the kittens asked in a big friendly bear from the crowd. Just then, Mrs. Cat came home. She saw soap bubbles rising out of the cake and meat on the ironing board, ready to bake. She saw chairs on the wall and a bear in the hall. She saw the clock dressed in pink and a horse in the sink. And then, under her chin, ten kittens marched in. What is the meaning of this, Mrs. Cat cried. Surprise, surprise, said the kittens. They thought they had pleased their mother. They thought they had done just what she wanted. We all did our best, they called out. But Benda Molina was still mixed up. Ask in the rest, she said to herself. Benda Molina threw open the door and called, Everyone come in. Mrs. Cat looked at all the neighbors and friends. She looked at Benda Molina's head. Then she looked at her smiling kittens. She just couldn't stay angry. She knew it was all the fault of the pot. Everyone can stay for supper, said M Mother Cat, but she took the pot off Benda Molina's head and made two holes for ears in it. Then she put it back on Benda Molina. Benda Molina, Benda Molina, give me a hug, said Mrs. Cat. And did Benda Molina give her mother a bug or a rug? No, she gave her mother just what she wanted. And that is the end of our story, the cat who wore a pot on her head. I think the moral of the story is, if you wear a pot on your head, make sure you take it off so you can hear what others are saying to you. So until next time, stay awesome, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.